Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Marvel Monday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the Marvel Legends series, Atuma Build-A-Figure Waves, Black Panther. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very, very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just to help the channel out further, or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future, you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, Let's get into it! Let's begin our trek through the lush jungles of Wakanda with a look at the packaging. And here we have Marvel Legends series, build a figure of Tuma, assortment number, four and up, the Black Panther symbol. Wow! On the front, a nice digital render of the figure. Black Panther, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Marvel, Black Panther. Warning, don't stick things in your pie hole that don't belong there. Hasbro print. On the bottom, includes figure and three accessories. Build a figure Atuma on this side, and there is the completed figure with numbers corresponding to which of the figures in the series comes with which part. And... There's Namor, Nakia, Okoye, Hatut Zaraze, well, I don't know if I said that right or not, Black Panther, and Everett Ross. Each sold separately, subject to availability. And on this side, some nice artwork of T'Challa, Marvel Legends series. And on the back, Marvel Legends series, Black Panther. Build a figure Atuma, and this is the piece he comes with. He also comes with these two fists. And then there's a nice render of the figure in an action pose. Warning! Attention! Achung! Don't stick things in any language pie hole that don't belong there. Don't give it to the baby. Small print, fine print, legalese print, marble print, made in China print, symbols I'm not going to learn, Hasbro print, a barcode, and attention! Don't stick things in your French pie hole either! And, you know, recycled. That, my friends, completes our look at the packaging. Let's take a look at the figure and his accessories. And first up, we'll take a look. This is the Build-A-Figure piece of Atuma from the Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie. Let's see has nice paint apps and it has nice detail like some type of shark jaw or something some fish bones don't choke on them eat a hush puppy and here we have handy dandy tweezers and here we can look at T'Challa's fists and they are these lines aren't just painted they are actually sculpted in. So that's a nice touch. Of course, there's a left and right one. On in and out hinges, both of them. Well, let's take a look at the figure himself. And I have to say, look at that sculpt. Look at the paint in the eyes. Are they silver? I think they are silver. And that really sets it off. Nice. Here he has his little cape with the rope tied around it that goes around his back. And you can remove it by removing the head and then sliding it down. Well, flipping it over and sliding it down. Pop the head off, flip the cape over, slide it down. there we go that's off and I have to say that's a nice looking sculpt to that too nice uh, 
molded braids on the rope. So very nice overall. I can't wait to see what somebody does with a soft goods and some wire to make this cape. That would be neat. And then let's pop T'Challa's head back on. Off camera strength activate. Maybe. There we go. Nice satisfying pop. So color wise, not a lot to talk about. We do have the silver that I mentioned before. Then we have the gray on the gloves and the boots. And that's about it for paint. I mean, I think this is the paint here. And then this is probably all molded in gray. And the hands are probably molded in gray. And this part is most likely, it's part of the arm, so that's paint. And it's molded and it's black. Uh, the belt is a separate piece, but it is glued down, it seems. So... That's good. You don't have to worry about it running off, getting in the way. And over the body, you know, nice molded details. Again, I, I think this is that new Vulcan body. I'm not sure. I don't have Vulcan, so I can't tell you 100%, but I think it is. Let's talk about his articulation. He can look way up like that. He can look way down like that. And he's got a little bit of chicken neck. And as y'all could see when I pulled the head off, he's got that classic Hasbro Marvel Legends hinge and ball for the head. And he's got some waggle in there and a full 360 degree exorcist. At the shoulder, he does have butterflies. And... I'm sad to say it only moves back that far. It looks like it could actually go some more. And I think I've seen some videos where somebody adjusted the pin on Vulcan so that the arm would go further back. But, you know, I'm okay with that. It moves forward that far, which is not a whole lot from the standard resting position there. Full 360 degree rotation at the shoulder. And... The arm raises up past 90 degrees. Cut at the upper bicep for a full 360 degree rotation. Double hinged pinless elbows. And let's see what the range is. Gives you that much bend, so very nice. At the wrist, 360 degree rotation on an in and out hinge. And same on the other side, in and out hinge. And here we have what looks to be the classic Hasbro Marvel Le Legends ab crunch um, hinge. And wow, it allows Black Panther to bend back that far and forward that far. So much better range of movement on that. Then we do have a cut at the waist Gives you a full 360 degree rotation. At the hips, unfortunately, no pull down hinge like the Spider Man uh, retro body. That would have been a nice addition. Or the G.I. Joe Classified series. They also have that pull down hinge. That's nice. But nevertheless, he does give you a nice bit of range for the splits. He kicks forward approximately 90 degrees and back. Well, he can take a step back. That's about it. Cut at the upper thigh for a full 360 degrees of rotation. Double hinge pinless knee. And it gives you that much bend, which is pretty darn good. Then at the upper shin, a boot cut for a full 360 degree rotation there. At the ankle, tilts down that far, tilts up that far, wow. And forward facing pin for a rocker, and it feels like there's a soft ratchet in there. I'm 
I'm sure it's just an angled peg, an angled port, but. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. A look at the figure and his accessories. It's time for my favorite part of a review, comparisons. And here we have Black Panther with the only other Black Panther figure that I have. The old Toy Biz Black Panther, which was based on a more modern version of the character. And I don't know, this figure is an example of how Toy Biz got some wonky proportions going on. And here we have, making his cameo appearance, the Marvel Legends, Stan the Man Lee, and from Star Wars The Black Series, the Archive Edition, 501st Legion Clone Trooper. For our final set of comparisons, here we have T'Challa next to, from the G.I. Joe Classified series, the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Regal variant, Cobra Commander. And for a 7-inch comparison from McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse line, we have the three Jokers, the Joker, the Clown. For final thoughts on the Marvel Legends Atuma Build-A-Figure Wave Black Panther, I have to say, this is a really classic Black Panther, and it's the one, it's the Black Panther I've been waiting on. The last time the classic look came out for him, I missed it, or wasn't able to get it, I can't remember which. And really and truly, the only difference between the look, look-wise, would be, you know, the shoes with the separated toes. The ninja shoes, I guess you would call it. And, uh, you know... And the gray gloves and feet, I'm not sure if that's originally how he looked... Or if it's something more modern, I kind of tend to remember the gloves and boots being dark blue, but that may have just been, you know, a coloring thing in the comics. I'm not sure. Uh, to honestly to be honest with you, you know, I didn't read a lot of Black Panther. Uh, mostly what I'm familiar with is stuff that happened in the Avengers comics. Um, and like his first appearance in Fantastic Four, where he was testing himself by pitting himself against the Fantastic Four. And, you know, he's a great character. And I don't see myself getting the rest of this wave. I, I really am, try to stay away from those MCU figures as much as possible because of, uh, you know... Marvel Legends is getting a little expensive to collect these days, so you have to be more, at least I have to be more choosy over what I get. And if I had another version of this particular suit, I probably wouldn't have gotten this Black Panther. But this is the first time I've been able to get a hold of this particular look even like the short cape is is what i remember for black panther and i really really dig the look of this figure he articulates very well i think this is on the new vulcan body 
and it's great butterfly pinless I mean it's really a nice looking figure and I'm glad to finally have a classic looking T'Challa to put in my Marvel Legends because that Toy Biz one was wackadoo Well, that does it for the review, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very, very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews. Or just help the channel out further. Or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.